Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. So Bitcoin's price action um, indicates a potential failure. It's a little bit too early to really confirm it, um, but we're going to take a look at the price action here. So it seems like that rally that started on Sunday might already be failing. We had a breakout. The entire breakout is already retraced. Not the, enti not the entire one, but basically here when the breakout started, it has already retraced. This is precisely why we always highlight that we need to wait for a five wave move to the upside and the three wave pullback to enter any, let's say, aggressive trades. Okay. Um, until then, we just need to be careful. And as I explained, we need the five waves up and the three waves down to indicate that this is really already bullish. Until then, this can simply be an A. B, C structure in a high B wave, or if it already fails now, which it could do, it was just a W, X, Y, but in a high B wave, okay? So that this is just a B wave. A wave was here on the 17th of August. The B wave here um, on yeah, today, um, and then it would come down in the C wave, which is precisely what we've been talking about um, for the last couple of weeks, those new lows, but again, you know, it might be a breakout to the downside, so a breakdown. Um, it's just because of the strength of the decline. I have only three waves down so far. It has hit support now at 27,297. It's too early to confirm a breakdown and a failure of that rally, but um, it, it might occur, right? It might occur the way this is uh, coming down. And... Uh, you see the altcoins already selling off. The Bitcoin miners are very weak. And that, again, it is precisely why we want to we want to see those five waves up and three waves down. Until we have the five waves, there is nothing really uh, clearly bullish. Yeah, nothing clearly bullish. Of course, the trend is up short term, right? And, you know, careful trades can be done. But for a more aggressive position, it's typically that five up, three down move. And also from an analysis point of view, I cannot confirm that a lasting low has been established until we see those five up, three down. Now, they might still happen. They might still happen. I'm not going to rule it out, but it will be invalidated, um, basically, this structure to the upside below 26K. Below $26,000, then we will have an invalidation of the white wave count, and we're probably breaking down. But it's definitely whipsaw price action here. Um, very, very interesting, very interesting. And it shows how fragile this move to the upside still is. So if we can get a break above today's high, of course, which was here at um, 28,625. Um, if we see that break, then we have again, a chance to move up in five waves. The next move up could, could be that high. I mean, at the moment we are still holding above a trend line. So I would pay attention to that. But a break below the trend line followed by a break below 26K can send us down to that 24 to 22K area that we've been talking about for the last um, couple of weeks. And this is definitely still an option and a likely option until we see all five waves up complete followed by a three wave pullback. And then, as I said, this could be the next interesting trade setup for higher. Until then, we are a little bit in no man's land, okay? Because the market is still very, very much uncertain. Also, the move to the upside here wasn't very um, clear or isn't very clear. It's very sloppy. Now, that's not necessarily be bearish. It's not necessarily bearish, but it means that we have to expect headwinds. And this is precisely what we're seeing now. So what am I watching now? I'm watching the 27,297 level. If you're wondering where that support level is coming from, I did already update that support um, for gold members on Discord and Telegram, because um, due to the strong retracement, I have to assume that either it's failing or this is already circle wave four. If you want to be kept up to date all the time, especially on volatile days like that, check out the check out the gold membership. Um, but yeah, that's where that comes from. I mean, if we break below that, I think it increases the likelihood to at least test this B wave low at twenty six thousand. Um, where is it? Six seventy, and then the twenty six k level, and then. It's probably, uh, then we have to assume it topped in a WXY structure in a B wave and we're coming down in wave C. So this was indeed the A wave, this was the B wave and we're coming down in that C wave. But it's just a little bit too early 
to confirm the breakdown. Okay, very very um, much un a lot of uncertainty in the market at the moment, and most altcoin charts still point towards another low. Yeah, that's my update about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.